Hello world, Wavetime here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. Now, I am resuming where I left off. Pretty much I didn't do anything, because I want to do a bit of preparation to actually start up and get to that mine shaft. It's going to be really daunting, and I want to see, well, how horrible we can actually be. So... Just going to get a few more bits of iron, I think would be a good idea. And see if we can actually forge anything uh, worthwhile, because we're, we might need some form of protection before we actually go into the fray and all of that. You know, death, destruction, mayhem, cake. Not the best thing to have happen to you when you're trying to, you know, run for your life. Hopefully, when we're there, we'll be actually will actually be able to make a backpack of some sort because there will be a bunch of spider webs that we'll be able to get but if I see blue spiders I am running as fast as I can so I'm gonna change my sound again because for some reason it lowered and we're going to jump through and try to get to the mineshaft area now we're going to have to be rather cautious trying to get there because it's well, pretty dark right now, so... No, let's go. Okay. Now, an interesting technique that I've actually learned through playing some Vex maps is something that I like to call water ladders. Um, it's quite interesting, and I use it quite a bit in survival, but I just go up simply and just climbing up with a bucket of lava it's easy to scale a vertical wall unless you completely fail eh, just like you to know that I might employ that in the future and are we dark again yes we are I do not want to be moody that will come naturally later onwards okay so let's get up here get our bearings straight and okay there's our mine shaft, and there's some bees which we might need to get to eventually. Okay, spider. There we go. That'll actually help us later on. Okay, so how to get up there? We don't really have many resources to just do a normal climb, so we're probably just going to have to ladder up there. Um, gonna have to use my other pickaxe for this. Now there's quite a few new machines, sorry about that, there's actually quite a few new machines where we actually need quite a bit of lead to work on, but, so that's going to be one of our uses that we'll need for this, and I think our water climbing technique is going to be what we need to get up to here. Now it seems like the zombies are coming from this mine shaft and there are those bats that I'm gonna have to contend with soon so let's try to get up here in one piece and here we go presto changeo abracadabra hocus pocus squiggly wiggly all of that fun stuff <sighs> and this is the beginning of the mine shaft and El Rey has caved in wow what a surprise okay I am still going to have to get used to all these sounds. Okay, so gonna do some standard looking around. Hopefully we find some fun stuff in which we'll be able to toy with. Uh, we're going to need also some of the bones that we'll get from these skeletons. So that's always useful. And we did have a bow and we had odd Thomcraft sound effects which are not actually from Thomcraft I've learned. They are from the Wizard files, not Wizard, that's a different game. From the Mojang files that were just not used. Hmm. Might prove useful in the future to have this, just in case. Anyways. Ooh. Hello, 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 hello. Nice to see you there. My name is Wei. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. That was a very odd sound, Wei. I hope you do not make that sound ever again, but 
judging by how many goodies we got from that, I think it's going to happen quite a bit. Okay. So, I'm not sure what type of objectives we can have in this area. Maybe some exposed mine stuff, but watermelons actually. Watermelons would be a good seed to get because it's quite rich in all that and it will be quite good for all of the farming materials that we will be needing to do. We could collect the rails from this area, but I'm not sure if that's even strictly necessary. But all this silver and lead that I can't distinguish from each other might be useful also. Um, yeah, I, for some reason I can get two different uh, silvers in this modded instance. I'm not sure why that is. It's the default mod pack. But anyways, moving onwards. Um, sorry, I get very, very, very talkative when I am nervous. I wonder why that is. Okay. And I need just one more piece of wool stuff and I am good to go. Okay, let's get this backpack crafted and I actually do have two pieces of iron which will be what we need. Okay. So we're going to need one chest and we're going to need two pieces of wool. Here we go. Put them like that. Put this here and we'll make our first miner's backpack like so. Put this on receiving and dump all of our ores. And I don't think charcoal will go into there actually, so uh, actually I think it did, but for cesium did not go in, so that's a good thing to know actually. Huzzah! Okay. Now, we're probably only going to do a bit of spelunking in these uh, mines. I'm going to say until we wear down our stone pickaxe, because once we get to that point, I think we got enough of our uh, normal resources to get along with. We're going to need quite a bit of copper to uh, actually copper, tin, and iron to get along with, because those are the main things that we're going to actually need to be able to do stuff. Wow, way you are definitely a mastermind with words. You're a regular wordsmith. Congratulations. Shut up. Okay. Get this done. Get this. We're going to need some more stuff. So let's get that there. We're going to need to pull out our coal. Unfortunately, because we do not have any charcoal and we need more torches. This is silver, right? Now, I'm kind of one of those players that likes to have lossless uh, energy transfers. So anything such as industrial craft, I like to have it as lossless as possible. That's why normally I detest using build craft. I detest it because it is not energy lossless. There was no mechanic whatsoever that allowed it to be lossless. You either had to keep your engines running all the time, which is a big, ooh, this is a big ravine. This is a freaking big ravine. As I was saying, you either had to monitor your machines constantly to make sure that they were uh, not going on when they were supposed not supposed to. And this is a very odd silver ore. Which silver are you from? And that is the wrong one. Okay, clicked for the recipe. What uses you? 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 Okay, you make odd silver and silver dust, silver dust. Slag furnace. Okay, hmm. I don't even know. I'm just going to assume that I know what I am doing and just nod in affirmation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, that's how I use it, okay. We can move onwards and there is a dead end, okay. So I'll keep on going until I got a good stack of iron. I think in the copper department we have enough tin. We have enough to get going, but when we get this stuff, 
we're actually going to need to get some rubber wood, which is going to be a trip into the forest. And looking at just the mini map, I do not see any thing that would suggest a rubber wood tree. In fact, I believe seeing as we're in a birch wood forest and not actually in a normal forest, we're going to actually have to do a little soul searching to be able to find some stuff. Speaking of which, maybe we can get one of those soul gems. Or it's not even in this pack, is it? No. I was thinking that soul cage thing, but it probably isn't in this pack anyway, so I don't even want to worry about that. It should be in the pack. Hmm. No. I'm just doubting myself. Okay, moving onwards. Um... Let's look if we can find any other chests other than this, because we obviously saw that one. Get a bit more iron, then we'll find our way out of this mine shaft. perhaps put it on as a waypoint. Then again, we didn't find anything too noteworthy in this, and we can find a freaking big ravine on our own terms. So let's get a few more things, then we're out of here. Okay, we got out of that mine area, so let's just get some of our resources that we managed to leave here and then get ourselves out of this little hole. We don't really have anything else for now to get here because, well, we'll probably find a better method to strip this land of resources. I don't have too much time to get everything since, well, to get everything would require quite a bit of effort and we need to get other stuff started in the meantime. Ooh, that actually makes things quite eloquent. Okay, and sorry, I believe I was saying something about not being able to find rubber trees because it's a birch forest. Apparently, I was not being 100% accurate and... We have found some birch stuff, so it looks like, unfortunately, I managed to poke my head up into here when it was night just descending, so we're going to have to halt our progress and maybe find some place to uh, bunker down and hide, maybe in that little water thing over there, but we're going to have to temporarily st halt our progress. Maybe I'll get some saplings while the night is going because eh, I'll keep recording on and if anything interesting happens, I'll let you guys know. Like her plop. Okay, I have a bit of rubber, so some sticky resin will have to do. And these trees are not too, let's say they don't really like giving saplings. We only managed to get two saplings out of that entire thing. So what I'm thinking of doing is migrating into the desert where I can actually see any sort of mobs that will be coming towards us and we can actually do some uh, building planning and whatnot. Okay, I am currently running away from this situation because I do not like spiders chasing me. Get away. Speaking of which, hello. You are stupid. I do not like you. Get away. Okay. And another friend who would like to say hi and gave us actually a few bones. So that's going to be good. Now, what's not good is the fact that our sword is almost out. So we're going to need to be wary of that. Okay. Okay. Now that is pretty much all we can spare in the way of bones. So... Uh, swords or whatnot. Okay. I am going to need to make a place to hide, so let's get down and get all this sorted. Maybe we can. This is not where I want to be. At least I can get some sand while I'm in this trench. Okay. I'm thinking of making a base around this area, perhaps not on top of this hill. Maybe I can have this hill as a little quarry area. Okay, looking, looking, looking. Uh, nothing to note. So, I'm going to need to plunk this down. I do not have any sort of cobble right now, so we're going to need to get some of that right now. 
Okay, cobble to be noteworthy, and here we go. And what do we have here but a little sand to light our way. Yes, I know it doesn't make any bloody sense, but whatever. I cannot believe I just said it that way. Okay, so we got our swords. We'll sort it with our... What is our sword key? R, that works. And obviously we are in a load of trouble. Hello. How are you? Okay, that actually worked pretty well. So we're going to need to get a bit of high ground. Going to need to look around. Make sure that we actually have a good base area. We'll clear out a base area. But I'm thinking we'll just have to... Uh, shovel away a bunch of filth and get stuff working in the daytime though so I'll just bunker down get some raw materials hopefully a creeper doesn't land in to say hello but knowing my luck that is likely to happen so I'll see in the afterlife or a spider will decide to be very 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 friendly right now see you in the morning why can't we be friends? Na na na. Why can't we be friends? Na na na. Oh gosh. I am definitely inheriting the crazy. You might want to step back. I believe it is contagious. Then again, you guys are probably already infected. Ah! You suck. I retract that previous statement. Then again, you spider. I will make an exception. Okay, we've managed to survive our first night above land, so we can say yippee ki -yay to that on all that jazz. So let's get our resources that we have. I might need to get my crafting table, so screw you to sand. I do not need you. And you. And you. Okay, let's just move onward. So. A nice flat open area would probably be the best bet for our building expedition and expediture, but close enough to the trees so that we can make just a nice little pit stop. Now, on the map I can see a bunch of oil, small oil deposits rather, they're not anything big like medium oil wells. And interesting factoid about the oil generation, did you know that even if you use the exact same seed, even if you use the exact same map, which I actually did, oil will generate differently. And I'm going to refresh my game because I don't want to see glitched chunks. As I was saying, pretty much um, even if you use the same save file and do like a refresh or whatnot, you're going to get different oil each and every single time which I find is quite an interesting little fact. Now, what we're going to want to do is put down a nice little area for us to actually work and build. So perhaps clawing out a little bit of a sand paradise would be what we need to do. That being said, wait for it. There we go. Uh, listening to zombies every day. 10 seconds is not a good thing so if we can actually find some area that does not have random zombies that would be much appreciated so let's run around find a nice flat area we can build a small little house and actually put a, down a few chests so we can actually get some stuff started and I might stop saying actually 10 dozen times I'm thinking here would actually be a nice little spot to start building. So I'm not sure what we're going to frame this out with, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We can just do a little ring around the area. And that's probably going to be a good enough area as it is. Let's just finish this up. And this will be a good enough initial investment to our plot. This looks exceedingly tacky, so I think we're going to use some of our uh, excess wood to dapper it up because it just looks horrible. 
And with a quick chirp to just get a little bit more wood, we should be good to go. This wood we'll use for our chest because we're going to need to get some of that started. So just going to put this as our little entrance way. And it's not a big house, I know that, but really we don't really need a big house currently. So I think we'll put this here and we'll have two double chests or one double chest and one singular chest for now. And there we go. So one here and we'll have a single chest here and we'll actually put, eh, this will be good. Okay, so let's dump all of our stuff here. There we go. Got all of that and we're going to need to, well that's our raw stuff. Let's put all of our junk stuff our unsorted stuff into here so that we'll actually be able to know what we're going to do with it later. We're going to need to set up a few furni to start with. We're going to need to use those furnaces, furni, whatever the heck you want to call them so that we can actually get some industrial stuff going. Now this is probably enough oil to know. We won't, won't even look at that. We well, how I usually like to start off with is some industrial craft gear because it's usually the most easy early game stuff to make. And I don't think getting another star at this point would be a good idea. Now, we already have redstone, so we already have a big hurdle out of the way in that regard because a lot of the stuff to start off with requires redstone. That being said, we don't have the biggest supply of redstone, but that's not to be scoffed at, really. So we're probably going to need to go and make a small little mining area so we can get all of our remaining cobblestone that we will need, because I'm sure we're going to need quite a bit of cobblestone, especially seeing as we're going to need some uh, furnaces. I keep on wanting to say Ferni. My logical brain is telling me that Ferni is a bad thing to say and we are getting cave. Cave in? Cave in? Yes, cave in! Woohoo! Okay. And we are getting the same zombie sounds. Maybe not the same zombie. But if we can squash that. Oh, we actually got a cave. Hello? Hello! Goodbye. Okay, we can actually... Ah, fudge. Fudgesicles, get away. And that stupid sound. Ah, saltpeter and bat. Get away. Okay, let's light down uh, some of these so that we can get that uh, working. Thank you. I'll get a bit of cobblestone so that we actually have some stuff, maybe a few more Rossi resources, but I think we are good to go. Hmm. In fact, let's actually move this so that we actually have two times more in each direction because there's no point making this nice little place a uh, wood frame if I'm not going to actually use it. Um, yeah, we'll just take this again. Or is it the other side? That's ah, this side. Okay, good. And there we go. Okay, now, where did the go? I'm a bubbling moron, aren't I? Okay, so now that we got this and our township, if you could call it that, is nice and established, I want to get all of this ore starting refinement and etc. We're probably going to have to use the coal to get that, but eventually we'll probably... Uh, migrate on to more renewable resources. Maybe if we could... Ooh, actually, that... Hmm. Could grow sugarcane. That might prove useful in the future. And I gotta stop adjusting my microphone. Okay, getting Ferni. Here, we got some Ferni, so we'll place them. And this is actually a pretty good spot right here. So the first things that we'll want to refine are some iron and some copper and some tin so tin and copper now I want to see the precise amount that we're actually going to need we're going to need a generator that's the one of the main things that we'll want 
So a generator is going to require eight uh, of that plus an RE battery. So eight iron, four tin, and also we're going to need a macerator. What the heck are you used for? Chrome and titanium. That is fun. I'm not even going to look at that stuff. Okay, so we're going to need to get a macerator as well. Thankfully, it does not require too much. So we'll just throw in this amount. We'll need three pieces of coal. We'll need to throw in. Let's just throw in all of our tin. Why not? And all of our coal, uh, copper rather. We'll throw the remaining stuff into here, and we're going to actually need to pretty up our base soon because this is going to be very disastrous once we get stuff going. And we only have four string, so we can't make a bed. Guessing it looks like I'm going to have to uh, reinforce my fortification. Not really reinforce, considering that I don't actually have anything. Um... Just a nice little ring of sand will help, and getting some sandstone so I don't actually get into that. I'm guessing a two high should be sufficient for now, seeing as spiders aren't too big of a threat. Maybe we can actually pretty this up while we're at it. And once we actually get into more affluence, we'll be able to make this a lot better. like that, like that, we're gonna need that, and over here. Now we're going to need to put our torches as well because we don't want to be barbarians. We are living in a golden age with sand castles. Which reminds me I should probably put a moat of some sort. That would be highly effective. Then again, probably time wasting. Maybe I can secure my defenses with a bunch of other stuff. I have fire. I should be able to beat you. Ha, ah, take that. Take my fire. Yeah, I thought it was lame too. Now, thinking ahead a little, this is obviously going to just be a temporary location, but even if it is temporary, I'm going to want to put as much, like a simple energy network into it. So we're going to want to place a uh, area for our simple machines. Now we got a nice nine side here, so maybe we can have our like two generators I think should be sufficient. We'll have the wires going up to a bat box, which will be here, so we're going to need to cut these three. We'll have some copper cables, two generators. Bat box will be going here, and then we'll have a simple wire. Now, actually, bat box here, simple wire going out. We'll have another machine here because it doesn't really matter what's there. And then we can just have the copper wire going over here. So, going to need a bat box. We're going to need a bit more wood, but I think we have sufficient amount of wood currently, and that actually is cooking pretty well. So once this is good, I'm going to have to uh, be very quick about this. And maybe we'll only have three rubber. That should be... Okay. Let's get one more in here. I know it's quite wasteful in our rubber department, but we can't really do anything else as it stands right now. Uh, that should be a sufficient amount of tin. So we are good there. We have enough iron, that's for sure. And I'll manually add this uh, rubber onto the stuff, so that shouldn't be too bad. So, mixing some of our metal together, and we'll make three cables. Then we'll combine these, make three batteries stuff. One, two, three, three RE batteries. There we go. And we'll combine these together with our... Ah, we're gonna need a bat another one anyways, huh? Okay, uh, where are you? There you go. Combine ye together. You shall be awesome. 
Uh, might as well make another battery while we're at it. But we will combine three of these with this and a wooden housing to make our bat box. Bat box will only store 40k of energy, but it should be sufficient for now. So place this. That should be good. Okay, actually, hmm. Obviously, the machines will have to be going from here, and we're going to need to destroy this. I do not have a pick. Ah, I do have a pickaxe. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. And it didn't get destroyed. Okay, so we be good there. We got the other battery. We can make our generator. Now we're going to need to refine a lot of our iron. So that should be a sufficient amount to refine. We'll get that going. Nothing has attacked me other than at initial spiders, so we should be... Did I hear something? Ah, it's just the wind. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> and that is a stupid thing to say away. That is a really, really, really stupid thing to say. By the way, okay, so what was I waiting for? Probably something important. The refined iron, yes, okay. We're going to need to take one of these furnaces. And upgrade them to an iron one. With this. And this will need to be combined with three refined iron. Let's just throw some of our junk in here. I know it's not the correct chest, but so be it. We got better than iron. It is refined iron. It is way better. And we'll be able to get this stuff powering our bat box as soon as we actually get the darn generator running. Okay, so this and this. We got a generator. And that is sufficient. Haha. -ha. So now we're just going to need to power it with coal. We'll get a big 44,000 boost with just that one piece. And you gotta be freaking kidding me. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Wave time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day. I am still a little cautious.